Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Leos. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding you and the person that's currently on your mind, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, this is going to be for my Leo spirit. Show me what's currently going on between my Leos and the person that's currently on their mind. What's currently going on? between my Leos and the person that's currently on their mind. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnerships. Okay, Oof. so you're questioning this. Some of you guys, you are questioning, do I give this relationship a chance? Do I work on this? Some of you guys, you question if this person that you're dealing with, you question if this person wants to work on this. Truly, truly wants to work on this. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. I feel like that's why you guys are questioning this. There's been some type of deception. There could be, there could have been some type of deception here. Some of you guys is a consideration of a reconciliation between you and someone. After something has happened here. Yeah, let's see. Nine of Wands. Oof, you're tired. You're tired of this person. You're getting tired. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. You want reciprocity. You want an equal give and take. You want what you give, but you're growing weary and you're growing tired as I see 222 on the clock with this person. It's like you're trying to, you're trying to make this work. You're trying to make this work, but I do see where you guys are thinking. Truly, truly thinking. What's the current challenge between my Leo and this person, Spirit? What's the current challenge? Four of Cups. See, I told you, you're thinking and you're contemplating. Do you want this? Some of you guys, you're considering, do I want to reconcile? Do I want to work on this? That's a questioning. Do I want to work on this? Do I want to reconcile? Two of Pentacles, balance, juggling, ups and downs. Some of you guys, you've experienced a lot of ups and downs in this connection. And while you want balance, while you want reciprocity, you're questioning do. And some of you guys, if you're in separation with this person, there's a feeling of, oh, if I take them back, if I let them back in, I may not be able to get rid of them. That's a massive energy as well. I see where you guys is there's a contemplating. Do you want to deal with this person? Do you want to try this with this person? Because a lot of you guys, you're tired of this person, whoever this person is. Why is this energy coming through? The high priestess, because your intuitions, your gut is telling you something. Strong Pisces energy. Also, this person is very secretive. This person is very secretive. Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys, this person could be somebody that you work with. Or this person... Hmm. You know what got you to this point? You really, really, really wanted this to work out. You put in a lot of work into this. You did. That's why you guys are growing. This is why you guys are kind of tired now. You put in a lot of work. You put in a lot of work with this person. You're very attracted to this person. You're attracted to this person's mystery. That's what you're attracted to. You're attracted to this person's mystery. Strong Pisces energy. Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be somebody here that you work with. This person is very attractive. Very attractive. You know, this person, for some of you guys, this person's a go-getter. This person's a boss. This is somebody here that gets a lot of attention and this person dresses nice. This person, there's something here about this person they were matching. You know, this is like somebody here, they look good on your arm. Yeah. 
Let's see. Give me in your future spirit. The world. Something coming full circle here between you and this person. Judgments. You're rendering judgment on this person in the very near future. A lot of you guys are ending this with this person. Completing a cycle with this person. You're rendering judgment and you're moving forward. Look at that. Eight of Cups. In the very near future, I see a lot of you guys. And this is a massive decision that you're making. Strong Scorpio, Cancer Energy, Eight of Cups, the world here. This is a massive decision. Some of you guys, you're, you're walking away from this person. You're moving away from this person. You're rendering judgment from this person. You are. Because I do see what you're contemplating in right now, present moment. You're putting a lot of effort with this person here. But there's a you're questioning it. You're definitely, definitely questioning, questioning it. And some of you guys, it's because there's been some type of deception between you and this person. So there's a feeling or an energy of, can I trust them? Can you truly, truly trust them? You're contemplating that. You're questioning that. You're not sure right now, present moment, that you want to accept this person's cup. You're not sure right now, present moment, that you want to accept this person's cup. Because I feel like a lot of you guys, there's a feeling right now, present moment, of having enough. You know, truly being the wounded warrior, tired of fighting, tired of fighting for this, tired of fighting with this person, tired of this, tired of this battle. Because there's a feeling of not really truly knowing who this person is or was. But this person, I see where they want to reconcile. Some of you guys, you may be with this person right now, present moment. Or some of you guys, this is somebody here that may want to truly, truly reconcile with you. I'm getting like, whoever this person is, they're, they're, they're highly attractive, but they're also looked upon. You know, this is somebody that's also looked upon for some type of guidance. So this is not a, a little old anybody kind of energy here. No, strong Pisces energy. Why is the high priestess here though for my Leo and this person? Three of Wands. So this is somebody here that you were planning a future with. You were patient with this person. This person was very secretive. They were very, very secretive. But you were patient with this person because you expected more out of this connection. You're expecting more out of this connection. Six of Swords, yeah. Moving, moving to be, moving to better, greener pastures. You know, this is like ex hoping and praying. Like you expected to grow with this person. You expected more from this person. You expected, yeah, Six of Swords. Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. And some of you guys, this person could have been the chaser. Like, they could have chased after you. Like, this is like somebody that kept pursuing you for some of you guys. They could have kept pursuing you. So, it, that's why it's a shocker when things work out the way that they, the way that it works out. Because this person, they pursued you so strongly. Hmm. What's your advice? What's your advice for my Leo spirit? Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy temperance talks about patience. Talks about patience in, in time, in due time. This is like your spirit guides wanting you, telling you, you know, embracing the independence. Because that, that Nine of Pentacles, strong Virgo energy, this talks about independence. This talks about your abundance. It talks about growth. It talks about you can, you can take care of yourself. You can accomplish whatever you need to accomplish on your own. Right now, present moment, a lot of you guys, you're being called to that independence. You're being called towards this solo mission for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, temperance, because in divine timing, you know, this is about you guys being patient. You know, this is divine intervention, like whatever rejection or whatever chaos, however this goes that you've experienced with this person, there's something here in this energy about being protected, 
protected for what is truly for you. So it's embracing this independence until you get, until you come into contact with the person that is truly, truly for you. Truly, truly for you. I do see where you guys want to give this relationship a chance. You want to work on this partnership because I do see where you guys, you were thinking and hoping that this was going to be more than what it is. Massive energy as I see 10, 10 on the clock. But there's something massive in this energy, whereas whatever rejection or whatever is going on, this is all a blessing for you. You have to be patient. You have to be patient because your angels and your spirit guides, they are protecting you from something more detrimental. Something more detrimental. And some of you guys, your spirit guides are telling you, let your friends help you. Let your friends help you. And for you guys to keep an open mind. Truly keep an open mind. And your spirit guides are telling you guys to love yourself first. Truly love yourself first. Because I'm also getting like you may have been dealing with somebody here. They made you question yourself. Truly question yourself. All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Know that I love and appreciate every last one of you guys. Until next time. Bye, Leo.